It's like magic. You search for a product online and all of a sudden you see it on every platform that you have. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and even right here on YouTube. Well, it's not magic. It's actually artificial intelligence working. And Google is so far ahead in the research and development of the most advanced AI that it could very well be the future of what artificial intelligence will be built upon. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone here we go in depth with the tech world and bring everything that is amazing about it right in front of you. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things tech and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let's dive in. Everyone knows of artificial intelligence as being this absolutely dangerous thing. I mean, the movies paint a pretty dark picture of what happens if someone that utilizes artificial intelligence were to revolt, but this is just one side view of what artificial intelligence, or simply AI, actually is. Google's DeepMind consists of a team of extraordinary scientists, engineers, and machine learning experts of many diversified fields, just to name a few. The group began with the understanding that intelligence is something that gives us, as human beings, the upper hand in life. It's how we create, how we learn, and through that learning, they are able to become inspired to develop computer systems that learn to offer solutions to problems that may have been difficult for others to solve. And this is done all on its own. The CEO and co-founder behind the brilliant development is Demis Hassabis. It began as a simple learning AI startup in London in 2010 alongside Shane Legg and Mustafa Suleiman. The two Hassabis and Legg met while they were doing their postdoc work at University College London's Gatsby Computational Neuroscience Unit, while Habis and Mustafa had already been family friends. The mission of DeepMind was to simply solve intelligence and with that intelligence solve everything else. In those early days of development, early investors came from big, high-profile names. Google caught wind of the team and quickly went to purchase the company for around $549 million. Even with Google's purchase, the company has remained an independent entity that is based out of London. One of the most memorable visuals that have come from Google's DeepMind AI is the video depicting the DeepMind neural network learning how to walk, run, and jump. The actions of the simulator were done all from the software's ability to learn, grow, and adapt. Imagine being confused about a situation or being a place to where there is a dilemma and maybe you cannot conceive a solution as quickly as one would need. Google's DeepMind offers those solutions. You wouldn't even have to think twice about that challenge anymore with the help of Google's DeepMind AI. Replicating Aside from learning how to navigate program terrains, DeepMind has successfully been able to not only replicate but actually create images from absolutely nothing but a blank canvas. For this to be possible, researchers used ImageNet as a database to provide real-world sample images for the AI to learn from. This is not a relatively new algorithm. The algorithm uses Generative Adversarial Networks GAN, a type of AI algorithm that has existed for some time now. But what makes the DeepMind AI's image generation unique is how much it has been able to improve compared to the previous tests with the algorithm. In terms of the quality metrics used to assess artificially generated images, the samples created by DeepMind's AI outperformed other attempts by a significant margin. Working with Human Variables To make things even more abundantly clear about how much future capabilities and possibilities are to be affected by Google's DeepMind, we take one further look into its competitive algorithm. DeepMind is known for beating players at board games and anticipating other human players' moves. But what has been improved greatly is its ability to now do this in teams, meaning that this AI is now able to learn and operate effectively even considering the normal yet variable human nature. Go was created in China about 3,000 years ago. It's a pretty old and classic game. In order to win, the players must utilize multiple layers of strategical planning. The goal is to surround and capture the opponent's stones or strategically create spaces of territory. Once all the moves that were possible are played, the player with the highest number becomes victorious. In its early stages, AIs could not handle the sheer vast amounts of possibilities that were capable and simultaneously compute strategical counter movements. AlphaGo, however, became the first computer program to win against a human professional Go player. Over time, AlphaGo was able to improve and become better and better at understanding and learning that led to much more advanced and competitive decision-making processes. This is also known as reinforced learning. AlphaGo went further to becoming the first AI to also beat a World Go champion and is now being deemed the strongest Go player in the world. The AI strategizes each move and anticipates all other possible movements that a human player would make. 
During an announcement for the AI, it was said that, through new developments and reinforcement learning, our agents have achieved human-level performance in Quake 3 Arena Capture the Flag, a complex multi-agent environment and one of the canonical 3D first-person multiplayer games, DeepMind said in an announcement. These agents demonstrate the ability to team up with both artificial agents and human players. Validity after a brief partnership with the Moorfields Eye Hospital in London, DeepMind's AI learned how to detect and correctly diagnose over 50 eye diseases. This was achieved by having DeepMind analyzing thousands of scans. This includes glaucoma, macular degeneration, and other diseases that cause visual impairment. Researchers said that the AI showed performance in making a referral recommendation that reaches or exceeds that of experts. Of course, we understand that computers will not be putting doctors out of a job anytime soon, but to be able to see the amazing accomplishments of this at such a youthful stage is absolutely astonishing. It was even reported that through the medical testing of the visual impairment that Google was extending its research into breast cancer screening as well. The world is seeing this technology grow at a rapid rate currently. DeepMind's ability to succeed also comes from the vast numbers of differentiating fields. They are constantly growing the team and bringing different perspectives that can address differing situations. Computer science, neuroscience, ethics, and public policy to responsibly pioneer AI systems. The possibilities The possibilities become endless with what DeepMind is able to produce. Currently, one of the main highlights of the program is understanding protein folding. Learning and understanding how proteins fold will help scientists and researchers get a better comprehension of all living organisms. To accelerate that process, a system named AlphaFold was created to accurately predict the shape of proteins. As confusing as it may seem, it has massive potential in every field of biology when dealing with disease, treatments, and even unlock new opportunities for areas to improve on when dealing with life itself. Challenges Running multi-million dollar AI isn't cheap, and one absolutely massive issue at hand is the costs associated with the research and development. In 2018, the program spent over $750 million according to the Financial Times. The funds went towards mostly salaries for the 838 employees. Additionally, there is the seemingly overbearing billion-dollar debt that is owed to Google. There are not concerns of default at this time, yet it is still a fact that the company is facing. Another factor in some of the challenges that are focused on the public's view is the departure of high-level executives. This can pose an issue in the public's eye that can severely hurt the company's profit. Summary Artificial intelligence is the future. We use forms of it in our everyday lives. It's in our jobs, our homes, our phones, cars, and one day, maybe even in our clothes. Think of the day that your shirt or coat can sense your body heat and make changes to how tight or loose it may become depending on your learned behavior. It can seem a tad creepy at first, but in reality, it may be what actually sets us so far into the world of possibilities that we can't even conceive what would be next. DeepMind isn't just a regular AI, it is the future of AI as we know it. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed what you just saw, leave a like and press that subscribe button to stay in the know of what you need to know. Thanks, see you next time.